In this lesson, I'm going to talk about unit conversion. Even though the international system of units has been adopted by the majority of countries as the official system of measurement, there are still many different types of measurement systems in use throughout the world. One famous example is the imperial system of units, which measure, for example, length in inches, feet, miles, and so on. Sometimes it's necessary to convert these units from one measurement system to another, or to convert within a system, for example, converting yards into feet. So imagine you're a student that's moved to a country in Europe to study physics. You're told that your accommodation is three kilometers walk from your university campus. How many miles is this? To answer this question, first we need to find something called a conversion factor. Essentially, a conversion factor is the ratio of two units that is equal to unity. For example, there are 60 seconds in one minute. And 60 seconds divided by one minute equals one, or unity. So now let's try another example, but now with units from different measurement systems. Say we wanted to convert a measurement in inches to centimetres. In this case, there are 2.54 centimetres for every inch. And again, 2.54 centimetres divided by one inch is equal to unity. So getting back to our original question, we need to find the conversion factor of kilometers into miles. And that's our conversion factor. We first write three kilometers on the left hand side of the equal sign. And because the conversion factor equals unity, we can multiply the conversion factor by three kilometers without changing anything. Because units can be treated as algebraic quantities, the kilometre unit can be cancelled out, leaving us with only units of miles. We are left with 3 times 0.6214 miles. This was a simple example. The next example requires converting multiple times to get the desired units. So the question is, a 100 meter runner manages to reach a peak speed of 10.2 meters per second. What is his speed in miles per hour? So it's easier to perform this calculation in two steps. First of all, we must convert meters into miles. This will give us his speed in miles per second. When deciding on our conversion factor, we must make sure that the numerator and denominator are in the correct place. The denominator should have the unit we want to cancel. The numerator should contain the unit we want to convert to. Because we want to convert meters into miles, miles goes on top and meters on the bottom. There are 1609 meters to every mile, so we can add this to our conversion factor. We can cancel out the meter units, leaving seconds in place. In standard form or scientific notation, this is 6.34 times 10 to the power of minus 3 miles per second. But since we want miles per hour, we need to convert the seconds into hours. We can decide to convert seconds directly into hours, or split this into two stages by first converting seconds into minutes, then minutes into hours. I'll show you the second way, because it will show you how to place multiple conversion factors back to back. Our first conversion factor will have seconds in the numerator and minutes in the denominator, because we first want to convert to minutes. The second conversion factor has minutes in the numerator. To cancel out the minute unit, from the previous conversion factor. This leaves us with units of miles per hour.
and after multiplying all our values, we get an answer of 22.82 miles per hour. The diameter of the Milky Way galaxy is about 100,000 light years across. The distance to the Andromeda galaxy is about 2 million light years. If a scale model represents both galaxies as dinner plates of 25 centimeters in diameter, determine the distance between the two plates. So in this example, we have to create our own conversion factor, and we can find this with details provided within the question. With our conversion factor, we want to convert light years into centimeters. Because we want to cancel out the light year unit, we need to place it in the denominator. In the question, it states that 100,000 light years is the equivalent to 25 centimeters. In other words, dividing 25 centimeters by 100,000 light years will equal unity in this example. After cancelling out the light years units and finishing the calculation, we get a value of 500 centimeters.